Welcome to Science 5, Quarter 1, Week 1. Hello everyone! I'm Teacher Verlet, your teacher in science. Before we start our class, here are virtual class rules. First, I want you to find a silent place where you are comfortable so that you can focus our lesson. Second, Watch and listen carefully. Third, after our virtual lesson, you can ask questions to our group chat class. Our lesson for today is about properties of materials. This lesson will help you discover and understand the properties of materials and their uses. The lessons include activities that will guide you to use the properties of materials and determine whether they are useful or harmful. The objective of this lesson is use the properties of materials whether they are useful or harmful. I have here a picture. Have you seen a cooking pot in this picture? Alright. Who among you here use cooking pot for cooking? Do you know what materials made of your cooking pot? Let's take a look at this picture. The cooking pot you have seen has a body of metal. A cover is made of glass. The handle is made or covered by plastic. Let me discuss about properties of materials and its two kinds of properties. Each material has their own characteristics which tells about their properties. First, properties are external and internal characteristic of an object. There are two kinds of properties of matter. Physical properties and chemical properties. Let us discuss first the physical properties. Physical properties refers to the characteristics of matter that can be observed or measured without changing its composition. It can be classified based on their texture color, and hardness. Examples of physical properties Malleability, hardness, flexibility, brittleness, elasticity, waterproofness, and thermal conductivity. The second properties is the chemical properties. Chemical properties refer to the internal composition of matter that can be measured or observed when matter undergoes change to become an entirely different substance. Example subchemical properties Toxicity, reactivity, flammability, combustibility Why are most cooking pots made of metal? It's because metals can be hammered in different shapes without breaking it. Examples of physical properties, malleability. Malleability is the property of metals that makes them easy to shape like for example the body of the cooking pot. Elasticity. Elasticity is the ability of materials to be stretched and return to its original shape when the stress is removed. Example of this is rubber band. Brittleness is a property which refers to being both hard and fragile. Example of this is a glass. Thermal conductivity is the property of a materials that allow heat to pass through them that is why our cooking pot are most made in metal. Next is hardness. It describes the ability 
of the material to resist pressure that may cause deformation or change in shape. Example of chemical properties Reactivity is the property of material or substance to undergo a chemical reaction. Most metal are not reactive so it will not undergo chemical reaction with the ingredient that may cause poisoning. Flammability is the property of material that can be ignited. Combustibility is the property of material that will easily burn. Example of this is wood, plastic, and paper. Let's have an activity. Identify the properties of these materials. 1. Mug A. Hard and flexibility B. Hard and fragile Number 2. Wooden hanger B. A. Combustibility B. Elasticity Number 3. Plastic bottle A. Conductor B. Insulator 4. Rubber band A. Elasticity B. Fragile 5. Glass A. Hard and flexibility B. Hard and fragile Let us check if your answers are correct. Number 1 B. Hard and fragile Number 2 Combustible Number 3 Insulator 4 Elasticity and 5 Hard and fragile If your answers are like this then you did a great job Based the properties that I'd mentioned a while ago Let's identify the physical property and chemical property. Physical properties are malleability, hardness, brittleness, elasticity, and thermal conductivity. These characteristics of matter show that it can be observed or measured without changing its composition. Let's go to chemical properties. Chemical properties are combustibility, flammability, and reactivity. This group of properties are observed or measured when matter undergoes change to become an entirely different substance. Let's, let's have an activity. We, number 1. Which common property is evident when tansan can be hammered into sheets to make a doormat or an improvised tambourine? A. Elasticity B. Flexibility C. Brittleness D. Malleability Number 2. Why cooking pots are not made of wood, plastic, or paper? A. Wood, plastic, and paper are combustible B. Paper is not waterproof C. Plastics will melt in too much heat. D. All of the above. Number 3. Which solid material below is a good thermal conductor? A. Aluminum foil. B. Paper. C. Plastic bottle. D. Wine glass. Number 4. Which of the following solid materials has the ability to stretch and can return to its original shape when stress is removed? A. Mirror B. Rubber band C. Sponge D. Wood Number 5. Which of the following properties describes the ability of a material to resist pressure that may cause deformation or change in shape? A. Malleability B. Elasticity C. Flexibility D. Hardness Let us check your answers. Number 1. Letter D. 
Number 2, letter D. Number 3, letter A. Number 4, letter B. And number 5, letter D. If your answers are like this, then you did a great job! Now, let's go to useful and harmful materials at home. Some materials found at home can either be useful or harmful because of their physical and chemical properties depending on how materials are used. Soaps, detergent, rubbing alcohol, and bleaching substances are good for cleaning. Medicines, vitamins, and minerals are very useful for your health and maintain immunity against some diseases. But if the medicines are not taken in proper dosage, they may harm your health. Excessive intake of soft drinks, processed foods like hot dogs, sweet and salty foods like ice cream and noodles are harmful to your health. They can cause poor nutrition and imbalance of nutrients in the body. Examine the label of this product. The label shows the presence of sodium. Salt or sodium chloride is a common in processed foods. If taken in excess, they may accumulate in your organs and may damage your kidney. Next is LPG. LPG is a flammable mixture of hydrocarbon gases used as a fuel in heating appliances and vehicles. However, an extra care and assistance from elders are required when you open it because it may cause fire. Let's have an activity. Identify the statement if it is useful or harmful. Number 1. Excessive intake of salty foods. Number 2. Proper use of rubbing alcohol. Number 3. Putting bleach in plants. Number 4. Eating chocolates every day. And number 5. Medicines will help to maintain immunity against some diseases. Let us check your answers. Number 1. It is harmful. Number 2. Useful. Number 3. Harmful. Number 4. Harmful. And number 5. Useful. If your answers are like this, then you did a great job. Thank you for watching. See you next time.